Hey, what's up, everybody? Benji Bruce here with Speaking Lifestyle, and I want to talk to you about selling your speech. Just, just when you when you email an event, when you contact an event, you're selling your speech. And the way most speakers do it is they talk about their speaking topic. They're like, I speak about X, Y, Z. I speak about health and fitness. I speak about uh, staying sharp. I speak about uh, iPhones. I speak about marketing or whatever, right? And they're talking about what they speak about. And I thought to myself, okay, when I would pitch. I pretty much never talked about what I would talk about. I would only say things like I'm a motivational speaker. Benji's a motivational speaker and he combines motivation with this mind reading stuff. And it would, it, it would never really talk about what I actually talk about in a speech. And, and I booked a lot of gigs through, through that method. And I thought to myself, like, what's the difference? I mean, I thought, well, it, I, I know, I understand that, hey, I got the looks. Like, we, I got the looks. It must be the good looks. That, that's, that's the difference, right? Maybe it's the purple. But I was like, it doesn't make sense being purple. I mean, they, they can't see that in an email. So I thought, well, the good looks, but they can't see that in an email either. And so I thought, well, what's the difference? Like, why is it that I'm getting so many events without talking about any type of speaking topics Whereas everyone else who, when they say, Hey, I speak about X, Y, Z, no one really cares. And they have a hard time getting on stages. And I realized the difference is the difference is that they would talk about their topic and I wouldn't, right? I would basically brag about myself. They would talk about their topic. And if you're selling your speech based on your topic, then you're not really selling you. You got to remember the purpose of your pitch isn't to get them to, to pay you right there and then. It's not to get them to pay you 10 grand, 20 grand or whatever right there from reading that one email. Nobody's going to do that. Nobody's just going to be like, all right, I'm reading an email. They're talking about their speaking topic. Wow, let's give this guy 15 grand. No one's going to do that. The purpose of your email pitch is to get them to, to click on the link to go to your website. That's it. That's all you want to do is create enough curiosity to get them to go to your website. And so the reason why my pitch worked so well when I didn't talk about my topics is because I would brag. I would say he's been hired by XYZ companies, Aflac, AAA, Remax, Intel, Best Buy. Uh, and I would just list all these companies. And you can see the videos here on the website. And he does this really cool thing with mind reading or whatever. And and it's like a member inside the Speak Pro Academy. He was on Oprah. He was on... Um, uh, Oprah, Dr. Oz, and several other TV shows, right? So I told him, I was like, that's what you want to say inside of your pitch. Because the, the pitch, when you say that, when you say Will has been on Oprah and Dr. Oz, then instantly inside of their brains, they're thinking, oh, I got to see what this is about then. They're like, wow, if, if he's good enough to get on those shows, like, well, what is this guy about, right? And so that's that's the difference. The difference is one speaker talks about their topic, which nobody cares about just yet. The other speaker is basically creating enough curiosity for people to care about. That's the difference. So when you're selling your, your speech, don't think in terms of selling the topic. Think in terms of how do I basically brag about myself? How do I say he's been on XYZ TV show? He's, he's been hired by XYZ companies. And, and basically, how do you brag about yourself to where you're literally creating enough curiosity for them to think like, wow, all right, so all these guys hired him. Let, let's kind of take a look to see what this guy's really about. And then from that point, they'll click on the link to your website. They'll look at your website, be absolutely amazed. Oh my goodness, greatest speaker in the world then they'll they might ask you about your speaking topics but that's the difference. That's how you're going to sell your speech. Stop focusing on what you talk about. Start focusing on the experience of hiring you. That's the only thing people care about. They do not care about your speaking topic. They absolutely don't care. They want a speaker that they know that will step on the stage and just own it from the very get-go. He'll be funny. He'll be interactive. Like People just leave there saying, holy shiznit. And so when you are pitching, do not focus on the speaking topic. Focus on basically saying things that create enough curiosity for them to click. Just like with, with Will where he's like Dr. Oz, Oprah, and Jimmy Fallon, all these guys. It makes them read that and they say to themselves like, okay, well, let me take a look. Like if this guy was hired by all these companies, he's been on these, these TV shows, huh, let me take a look. That's how you're going to sell your speaking topic. That's how you're going to sell you as a speaker. It's not about selling your speaking topic. It's about selling you as a speaker.